Sheepdog Tales. Dawn rises over the Devon coast. The sea beats the ragged rocks, and the gulls circle lazily in the breeze. As the yellow rescue helicopter finishes its morning rounds and heads home, so does the shepherd and his dog. This morning, mist feels as free as the birds. With the flock in front of her and the wind in her tail, she is as happy as any dog could be. Get on. It was the boss's morning duty to check if any of his flock had fallen into Wrecker's Cove, a cave hidden in the cliff face. He often wondered who would check if he fell, but he was far too sure-footed to let that happen. Hurry up, boss! Down to the cove! Come on, steady there, miss. Keep running like that, you'll fall off it. What were you saying, boss? Boss? <gasps> boss! Uh, okay, boss! Yeah. I'm coming! Ah. Hang on! The boss tried to claw his way back to the top, but the moss and rock crumbled away with his every grasp, and the more he struggled, the worse it became. There was no way up. There was no way down. He was stuck. And so was Mist. Have you seen Miss today? No, she must be out with the boss, and I've been wanting to show him this stick. Oh, well, not to worry. As long as they're together, they'll be all right. I'll see you later, Gail. I'm going to play on the cliffs. Oh, Slender Seal? That you? Now, nope, hearing things again. Beside the seaside, beside the sea. And so it went. Their cries for help drowned out by the waves, hidden from all those above them. As the day drew to an end and the sun dropped from the sky, the chilly air whipped around them. The boss was now very grateful that Miss was with him, as her thick shaggy coat kept him warm as they huddled together. Miss tried hard to stay awake. She was afraid that the boss would fall if he went to sleep. So she wriggled and nudged him. But as midnight came and went, Mist too closed her eyes and fell asleep. The sound of the ocean ringing through her ears like a briny lullaby. Hello? Wake up! What? Where am I? Good morning. My name is Sven. What? Oh, Sven! Oh, Jake's friend! Sven the seal! The one and only. Why are you playing on the side of the cliff? Oh, we're not playing! We fell! We're stuck! And nobody's come to find us! That's because you can only be seen from the sea! So you're the only one that can see us! That's right! Then you must find Jake and tell him Mist and the boss are stuck at Wrecker's Cove! Miss and the boss are stuck at Wrecker's Cove. Got it! <laughs> Sven the seal bobbed along the coast looking for Jake, and soon enough he found him. Aha! Jake! Who said that? Oh, hello my blubbery buddy! There's something I have to tell you. Now what was it? It's on the tip of my tongue. Oh, is it a fish? No, no, not a fish. Oh, is it seaweed? No, no, not seaweed. Oh, is it a fish? You've already said fish. That's right. I know. Foggy and Bob are stuck at Smashy Caves. Oh, Foggy and Bob is stuck at Smashy Caves? Disastral. Who are Foggy and Bob? 
Foggy, your friend, and Bob. Oh, you mean Mist and the boss. But where are the smashy caves? I think that's wrong too. Oh. Ah, I know, Wrecker's Cove. Brilliant. Now I'd better go and get some help, I suppose. Thanks, Fender Seal. Anytime. <laughs> Mist! Mist! Can you hear me? Jake! Thank goodness! You've got to go and find some help! I think we might need a helicopter! A whaty copter? Just go and tell Mum that we're down here! My Mum? But she's in Western Supermare! No, my Mum! Gail! Oh, I see. Right you are! I found them! I found Best of the Moss, and they're stuck down Wrecker's Cove! Wrecker's Cove? But they'll never get up from there. Miss said something about a smelly doctor. A what? A helicopter. That's what I said. A big yellow one flies around the cliffs most mornings. But they're all hidden down there, and the jelly crop there will never see them. And if they can't see them, they won't rescue them. Oh, yes, they will. I've got a plan, but we'll need to work together and do exactly what I say. Agreed? Yep. Oh, yeah. OK. Come on, then. To the cliffs. The dogs ran as fast as they could, eager to discover Gail's secret rescue plan. Is this definitely where they fell, Jake? Oh, yeah, this is it. Right, then. Ernie, bring those ones round here. Right-o. Oh, I've got it, Gail. Jake, we need two to my left and three to my right. I got you. Fern, can you hear a helicopter yet? Yes, it's still a way off, but it's getting closer. Your ears are amazing. Quick, everyone, we need to work fast. Four dogs followed Gail's every command, pushing the sheep forwards and backwards until she was happy. Jake, straighten up that line. Make them as pointy as you can. Hurry, it's getting louder. Let's see, move those two from there and put them at the other end of those. I don't get the point of this. I've got visual. Look to the skies, girls! OK, I think we're there. I just hope they spot it. A yonk, I'd say. Oh, here they come. Come on, miss. There's a good girl. Welcome home, mist. Good lunch. <laughs> come on. Well done, you lot. You're very good. Sweet. Come on, miss. That night, miss felt too excited to sleep. But the warmth of the fire soon replaced the memory of the rushing wind. It spits and crackles, burning away the sound of the beating waves. And mist gave way to a long, deep slumber of the aching feet 
of her best friend. As the memories begin, I see mist on wind cut her down. 